Hello guys, this is Mike Fado and we're back to our latest weather analysis for this Thursday to Saturday, July 7 to 10, 2022 and this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. It looks like the Western Pacific and the South China Sea uh, will become active in the next couple of days, becoming uh, busy, okay, uh, since we are now in the month of July and uh, mostly tropical cyclone formation is at a higher peak during this time of the month of uh, July to August. So from our latest uh, graph set we issued late last night, we have a surface trough now crossing the Philippine Islands and is expected to exit west of Mindoro in the next 24 hours. And this uh, troughing will bring some rains and thunderstorms in uh, isolated areas of the country just like this morning over Metro Manila and some areas of uh, the country and outside of PAR we don't have any uh, developing LPAs as of this time we just have here an active surface trough embedded within the intertropical convergence zone across Micronesia and all across the uh, Marshall Islands and up here across Japan to the east we have the uh, Tropical Depression Eire, once a doming, which is now a subtropical storm, meaning that the system has developed uh, based on the cold environment, no, lo no longer based on tropical environment. So it is now known as a subtropical storm moving to the east and eventually in the next 24 hours it is expected to move more to the north. And if we uh, take a look at the fast animation, there you go. The uh, cloudiness generated by the surface trough slowly moving away from the Visayas and western Luzon and the uh, other surface trough to the south of Guam. Here is the zoom in satellite animation beginning at 5.30 a.m. at up to 11 o'clock this morning. These are the thunderstorms generated by the surface trough over Metro Manila and portions of central Luzon and it's now over here moving towards the uh, west-northwest. And we have here a southwesterly uh, surface uh, wind flow over the uh, South China Sea and likely the surface trough and this cloudiness will eventually merge and a possible formation of a new low pressure area will be expected. So watch out for that for possible development into a monsoon depression which is a large uh, uh, weather system over the uh, West Philippine Sea and South China Sea area. Now let's take a look at the windy.com rain forecast from the European model. This is for the next three days until Sunday. So this afternoon we expect rains and thunderstorms to occur in most parts of the country. And uh, likewise, uh, every afternoon through Sunday we expect that. So that's tomorrow, Friday afternoon. By Saturday afternoon we also expect more thunderstorms across the Visayas. Palawan and uh, northeastern Mindanao. Here comes the uh, formation of a large low pressure area or monsoon depression. And on Sunday, we expect this monsoon depression to become more active and likely a, a large low pressure system is uh, going to form and the southwest monsoon will be activated once again affecting Kalayan Island Group, Spratlis and the western seaboards of Palawan and also some thunderstorms across the western sections of Luzon and uh, Mindoro. While over Visayas and uh, western Mindanao, some southwesterly surface wind flow will generate more thunderstorms in the afternoon of Sunday and also over the uh, areas of Bukariga uh, in Mindanao. So that's the forecast for the next three days. So on a low pressure area, it will be expected to form over the uh, South China Sea, outside of Pa or within the Philippine Air Responsibility uh, this weekend. So watch out for that. And uh, we will give you the latest on the wind forecast in a short while. Here's the rainfall accumulation forecast for the next three days until Sunday. So we expect uh, rainfall or thunderstorm activity all across the country becoming more uh, intense over the uh, Sulu Archipelago and Palawan area. When we uh, talk about the wind forecast from windy.com, this is for the next three days to Sunday. This is from the European model. So tomorrow afternoon, 
Uh, the uh, surface trough is likely to be over the West Philippine Sea and on Saturday afternoon it will form into a large area of low pressure over the Spratly Islands and it's likely to become a uh, monsoon depression. And uh, on Sunday afternoon, uh, most likely the system could become a tropical depression but we are still observing this if it will remain as a monsoon depression since it's a large system uh, during monsoon depression the wind is more stronger along its periphery than near the center but if the uh, the center of this uh, monsoon depression con contracts okay then this could become a tropical depression or a tropical cyclone uh, at the lowest level so uh, most likely we are going to observe this in the next uh, uh, couple of days particularly next week if we change the forecast model using the american model mm -hmm, friday afternoon we could see a low pressure area developing here from the surface trough that we are spotting right now to the south of uh, guam and uh, this one is likely to become a, a low pressure area through Sunday. So this is a different take from the American model. So it's not yet sure. That's why the forecast is uncertain as of, as of this time. Since the European model doesn't show anything to the east of the Philippine Islands, the surface trough will eventually uh, dissipate. But on the American model, it's a, a low pressure area which could become a tropical depression to the east of Bicol region. And if we move forward to uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, uh, this system will uh, track towards Batanes, Baboyan, Kobob Islands and become a tropical cyclone. So uh, the other system remains here, quasi stationary over the West Philippine Sea or South China Sea. So it will also help the Southwest Monsoon bring more rains ac across Mimaropa and the western sections of. Luzon. So this is still a question mark, this other one to the east of the Philippine Islands, but to the west of the Philippines, over the South China Sea, it is likely to be developed into a monsoon depression and eventually into a tropical depression if it contracts. So uh, let's wait for that. And uh, let's move now to our tropical uh, hazards and benefits outlook from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA. So this is what I'm telling you about for week 1, July 6 to 12. A possible 50% or medium probability of a tropical cyclone formation over the Philippine Islands, either to the east or west, or within the uh, Visayan archipelago. So this is still at 50-50 probability with above average rainfall from southern Luzon down to Mindanao. And on week 2, valid July 13 to July 19, again, the Philippine Islands from the West Philippine Sea, South China Sea, all throughout the Western Pacific will remain at 50% or medium probability of a tropical cyclone formation. Okay, so that's the uh, latest from the uh, hazards and benefits outlook of the Climate Prediction Center. So we're going to monitor it closely. In the coming days, so watch out for our updates here at our YouTube channel, Mr. Typhoon.tv, and at our Facebook channel, Mr. Typhoon.com. So again, we will see you on Saturday this weekend for more updates on those uh, one or two tropical cyclone formation, which is likely to occur uh, early next week or in the middle of next week so we will keep you updated on that from typhoon 2000 again this is mike padua see you again on uh, saturday and uh, hope you have a great day